I think it might be a sharp cheddar. Ew! Definitely a Velveeta. No, Jeffy, that's not cheese. That's earwax. When's the last time you cleaned your ears, Jeffy? You're supposed to clean your ears? I thought your ears were for hearing. <sighs> Baby, go get me a Q-tip. Okay. All right, Jeffy. These are Q-tips. Q-tips? What do I do with these? You put it in your ear. In my ear? Ooh. Yeah, like that. Now you move it around. Oh, that feels good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, deeper. Jeffy, be careful. You're going to hurt your eardrum. Yeah, Jeffy, you don't want to push it too far. You might hurt your ear. <laughs> Daddy, look. I made a cheese stick. No, Jeffy, you're not supposed to eat it. <laughs> Daddy, that was so good. It was blue cheese. Package it up. Jeffy, that's not cheese. It's earwax. You're not supposed to eat that. But, Daddy, I have an unlimited supply of cheese in my ear. It's cheese for the whole world. Jeffy, it's not cheese for the whole world. It's earwax. Everyone has that in their ear. Daddy, Baker's dozen as fuck. What oh, Jeffy? Oh. Marvin, I'm gonna get him a glass of water if he's gonna keep eating his earwax. He needs to stop eating his earwax. He can't be healthy. Well, eventually it'll run out, right? <sighs> we can hope. All right, Daddy, I got a factory in overdrive. Everyone's about to have cheese for days. <sighs> Go get the water. Okay. All right, Jeffy, I brought you a water. Mommy, check out my cheese sticks. I even made a cheese pyramid. Ew! Jeffy, get all this earwax off the couch. Hold on, Daddy, I got one more good one. I got to get really deep in there. You're going to hurt your ear. Marvin, how has he not run out of earwax yet? I have no idea. <laughs> Daddy, what's this piece stuff? What, Jeffy, it looks like a piece of your brain. My brain? Okay, I'm gonna call a doctor. Hey, Leah, somebody call a doctor? Ooh, cheese sticks. That's not cheese. <laughs> oh, God, that's just earwax on a Q-tip. Why didn't anybody tell me? Because I thought you were smart since you're a doctor. Not all doctors are smart, okay? I cheated to get where I am. Like, there was this fat bitch in front of me in college named Abby. I just copied off her. She's a much more successful doctor than I am. Yet fat, so I'm winning. Anyway, what do you guys need? So Jeffy was playing with a Q-tip, and he dug out a piece of his brain. Okay, look, that's impossible, okay? He'd have to break through his eardrum, which would be extremely painful, and then the Q-tip would touch his skull, and then once it got through to his inner ear, it would cause extreme pain, dizziness, and vomiting, okay? There's no way that would be an accident. It would have to be on purpose. Well, he was doing it on purpose. He was trying to shove it as deep as he could in his ear. Uh, okay, let me go get my otoscope. All right, let me take a look in there. Oh, yeah, there's a big chunk of his brain missing. Wait, so that is his brain? Yeah, that's his brain on the Q-tip there. Is he gonna die? I don't know. How you feel, Jeffy? <laughs> is that normal? Yeah, he normally acts like that. Oh, well, look, he'll be just fine then. Look, the brain is so big, you don't need all of it. That little piece on the Q-tip, that's probably like one memory. He'll be okay. So you think it's just one memory? Oh, yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah! Is that a Rubik's Cube? Yeah, Jeffy can solve a Rubik's Cube in four seconds. Whoa, that's got to be a world record. You should enter him into the National Annual Rubik's Cube Solvatron Competition. What's that? Well, it's where a bunch of these dorks who don't get any pussy and have rolling backpacks get together to see who can solve a Rubik's Cube the fastest. I mean, no females are allowed within 500 miles of the competition, but first place gets a $25 gift card to QB Tuesdays and a million dollar cash prize. A million dollars just to solve a Rubik's Cube? Yeah, I mean, they're mostly just doing it for the gift card because a million dollars is still not enough to get them laid. They're just going to spend the money to buy more Rubik's Cubes, but yeah. I can't believe, Jeffy, you can make a million dollars just to solve this. Well, I mean, second place, you still get $500,000, and third place gets $100,000, but fourth place gets you executed by firing squad. They kill you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can still come in fifth place. You get 10000 for that, but fourth place, no, they will kill you. They do not tolerate mediocrity. So as long as Jeffy gets first, second, third, or fifth, he gets money? Yeah, yeah, just don't come in fourth. That would be bad. Oh, my God. Jeffy's going to totally win that competition because he can solve a ruse in four seconds. So, so when is it? Uh, it's in two hours, but it's 500 miles away. Marvin, we We'd have to travel 250 miles per hour to get there in time. Our car doesn't go that fast. Okay, I'll let you guys borrow my rocket ship. Thank you. Hello and welcome. 
Welcome to the annual National Rubik's Cube Solvatron Competition! We have the biggest nerds in the world here protecting their virginities by trying to solve Rubik's Cubes as fast as they can! The competition will begin shortly! Hmm? I'll get it. Hello? Trick or treat! We're here for the Rubik's Cube competition. Is that a girl? Yeah? Tell her to get the hell out of here. What? Why? Because none of these boys in here have ever seen a girl before, and if they do, they might cream their bridges. Baby, just go wait in the rocket ship. Aww. Can we come in now? What's the password? Oh, Rubik's Cube dick. Come on in! What? All right, Jeffy, you ready to beat these kids? Yeah, I'll beat the shit out of all these kids. Which kid you want me to hit first? No, not beat them up. I meant beat them in solving a Rubik's Cube. What's up, fresh meat? Haven't seen you around here before. So, what's your best time? Best time? Yeah, your best time in solving a Rubik's Cube, idiot. Oh, well, I don't solve Rubik's Cubes, but Jeffy's best time is four seconds. Four seconds? He might win first place this year. Really? Yeah, you see that kid down there? His name is Jackie, too. He wins first place almost every year. He's a super Asian. And then, beside him, that's Dontavious Rex. Me? He has a 12-inch wiener. I saw it in the shower one day after cube practice. You have showers here? Oh, yeah. This competition gets super intense. And then beside him, that's Cody. He's gay. It's true. Well, Jeffy's going to try to win first place. Well, you don't have to worry about me. I go for last place every year. Easiest 10 grand of my life. Oh, but my buddy last year, Fred, he died by firing squad because he got fourth place. And then the year before that, my other buddy, he got banned for life. How'd he get banned? Because he, he brought a girl. Someone's a girl. Shut up, John Tavius. Keep your weight on your pants. Damn. Oh. Okay, well, um, why are girls not allowed? Girls aren't allowed because the last time a girl was here, everyone's pants got filled with cream cheese. So, why don't you cube? Oh, I just don't know how. Ha! You hear that, everyone? This guy doesn't know how to cube! <laughs> what a fucking loser. Hell, pathetic meat. Oh, come on, Jeffy. All right, everyone, we're ready to start the competition. So here's how this is going to work. Everyone's going to come up, and we're going to time how fast you can finish your Rubik's Cube. The person with the fastest time wins a million dollars on a $25 gift card to QB Tuesdays. The person who comes in fourth place gets murdered. Now, first up is our newcomer, Jeffy. Okay, Jeffy, I'll start the timer by hitting the space bar, and when you're done with the Rubik's Cube, I'll stop the timer by hitting the space bar again. And I'll let you know what your time was. The world record is 3.13 seconds. On your mark... Get set, go! What am I supposed to do with this? Well, you didn't get the record, but keep going. Jeffy, hurry up and solve it. I don't know what this is. I've never seen one of these before in my life. Jeffy, don't screw with me. You solved it earlier. I did? Well, yes, Jeffy, solve it. I don't even know what this is. What? Oh, my God. Do you think that part of your brain you pulled out was the part that made you solve a Ruby's cube? It has to be because I've never seen one of these before in my life. Uh, mister, he doesn't know how to solve a Ruby's cube. But what? Yeah, he, I thought he did, but he doesn't know how to do it anymore. Well, then why the hell would you come to a Rubik's Cube competition? I don't know. Well, I guess I'll have to give you fifth place. He has $10,000. Just like that? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, Jeffy, let's go. And up next we have Cody Nutkiss. On your mark, get set, go! Yeah, come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. Wow, what a snow's fast. Get Wow, 6.9 seconds. <laughs> 69. And up next we have Dontavious Rex. On your mark, get set, go. Shit, shit. Oh, shit. that's going to cost him some time. Come on, kid, hurry up. Done. Not by this time. Mother will not be pleased. Uh, are you going to finish it? Just one second. Okay, I think that's good enough to get a nice, smooth, fit place. Well, congratulations, you came in fourth. What? It's time to die. No, no, please. I swear I'll do better. Please. And last, we have the defending champion, Jackie Two. On your mark, get set, go. Done. Everybody can suck my wing. Holy moly, he broke the world record. You get first place. Oh, I'm so full. Maybe just one more. Hey, how was the competition? Uh, no, before you ask, I did not eat the earwax off of these Q-tips. That would be disgusting.
Little do they know I did. I am one sick son of a bitch. I even ate the earwax pyramid. <laughs> and I kept some in my pocket as a little snack for later. <laughs> I wonder how many carbs there are in earwax. So, so how was the competition? Oh, uh, it was good. We came in fifth place, so we got $10,000. Oh, nice. I feel bad for the guy who came in fourth, though. Yeah, so you know that piece of brain that Jeffy pulled out? Well, that part of his brain was the part of his brain that knew how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Oh, that sucks. Well, how'd you like my rocket ship? It was cozy. It was very fast. Well, yeah, it's a rocket ship. And uh, the fuel for that bitch is pretty expensive. As a matter of fact, I think one gallon costs about $10,000. Oh, looky there, 10 grand. What a coincidence. But no, I don't have to pay for your gas. Hey, I gave you my rocket ship. I gotta pay for the gas somehow. Don't be a douche. Oh my God, how do you feel, Jeffy? All that was for nothing. One day, if you wanna make money, I got a cheese factory in my ear and a chocolate factory in my ass. Hey, uh, I've been trying to call my brother Jonathan. Anybody see him? Like, like, was he at the Rubik's Cube competition? Because he's usually there. Well, he said he always got fifth place, and this year we got fifth place, so... <gasps> Uh-oh!